Today, we are going to be going over how to set up a Slippy Weed Tournament legal setup for Super Smash Bros. Melee. Let's start with what you need. In order to get a Melee setup that is usable for tournaments, you will need a Wii, a CRT, a GameCube controller, a Wiimote, an SD card, an SD card reader, and a Wii sensor bar. And of course, a computer. First, we need to check if your Wii is updated or needs to be updated. Then you will need to go to the Wii Options button in the bottom left corner. Then go to Wii Settings. And from here, you will double check that you are on version 4.3U in the top right corner. If you are on version 4.3U, great. Skip ahead to the timestamp listed. If you are not on version 4.3U, you will need to go over to the Wii System Update option on the third slide. Before trying to update, make sure that your Wii is connected to the internet, then hit update. It should restart your Wii and take you back to the Wii menu. You can now check back in your options to make sure that your system is now on version 4.3U. Now you will need to install Letter Bomb on your Wii. This will allow you to get Homebrew onto your Wii. First you will need to go to the Wii options again. Then you will need to find internet hit console information, and then copy the MAC address that appears there. This will be different for every Wii, so make sure to write it down or snap a picture of it. Now you can turn off your Wii and plug your SD card into your computer. You can now go to pleasehackme.com, link in the description below, and here you are going to download Letterbomb. Make sure that you have 4.3U selected. Here you will put the MAC address that you got earlier from your Wii, Verify that you are not a robot, then cut whichever wire you want. It does not matter. Now you should see a zip file called Letterbomb. Now you're going to want to right click that file and click Extract All. Now that you have extracted Letterbomb onto your computer, you are now going to open up your SD card. And from here, you're going to drag all the files from that Letterbomb file into your SD card and paste them there. Now we are going to be setting up Homebrew. Now with the Letterbomb file on your SD card, you can now slot it into your Wii and turn the Wii on. Now you will go to the Wii message board and find the Letterbomb file that will either be on the right or left of the date that your Wii is set to. Once you find it, simply click on it using your Wii mode by hitting the A button. The screen will pop up and you will see a lot of text. Don't worry about any of this, it's just doing its job and you just need to wait. Once this screen appears, you will just need to hit 1 on your Wiimote. From here, you will see the Hack Me installer and you will hit the A button and continue. You will scroll up using the D-pad to install the Homebrew channel. Then select Yes and continue. Wait a second for it to install and then you are going to scroll to the Exit option and hit A. If you've done everything correctly, you should boot into the Homebrew channel just like this. How to install Slippy. Now you're going to want to turn off your Wii, plug your SD card back into your computer, but make sure to delete everything off of the SD card first. In a link below, you will find a file called Wii God File 2 in the description and copy and paste everything from that file over to your SD card. This will take some time, so don't worry. Now that you've done that, you're going to go into the SD card and select Games. Click Gale 01 and then drop your legally obtained copy of Melee 1.02 NTSC here. Once you've done that, you're going to want to right click it and rename it to Game, all lowercase. Now you can remove the SD card from your computer, insert it back into your Wii, and at this point you will no longer need to unplug the SD card from the Wii. How to install Preloader Preloader is not necessary. 
but it is a very useful way to get through the Wii menus without having to use a Wii mode or a Wii sensor bar. Now that you have successfully installed Homebrew, go into it and find Preloader and load it. From this menu, you are going to take your Wii mode and hit A and the plus button at the same time. It'll do a few checks and then it will boot you back into Homebrew. Now you are going to turn off your Wii and turn it back on, but this time while holding down the reset button. This will cause you to load straight into the preloader menu shown here. Here you will go down to the settings and scroll right on auto boot until you see it set to the homebrew channel and then save the settings at the bottom. Now that homebrew has been selected as the auto booted option, your Wii from here on out will automatically boot up into the Homebrew menu and not the Wii menu. Scroll back up to the Homebrew channel and select it and it should take you back to the Homebrew menu. Now you will never need a Wii mode or sensor bar again. So you can use a GameCube controller, but make sure that it's plugged into port 1. Now head over to Slip in Nintendo and load it up. It'll search for a storage device and you will select SD card for this tutorial, but you could use a USB loader if you so desired. But for our purposes, you will hit A on the SD card. Here, you're going to want to hit A on Super Smash Bros. Melee. Within a few seconds, you should be taken right into Melee. Any questions? Leave them in the comments below in your favorite Melee TO box and Spicy will do their best to answer them.